I mean, this, they obviously put you at the top of their list, and they really wanted you. You know what? Um, I think that was the biggest reason why I did come. I felt like, um, you know, I looked uh, at the roster. I looked at the guys on this team, you know, um, knowing Tobias pretty well. Mm -hmm. uh, you know, it just seemed like a great opportunity for me to continue to um, uh, not only challenge myself, but to join something that's, that's very up and coming in this league. Uh, um, even though Orlando's young, I think they get a lot of respect uh, just due to the talent level, and I think I can uh, help out help out a lot. What will it mean to you deep down to play with to play with Tobias and mentor him and then be with him every day? You know what? I think the mentor thing is kind of a, a funny word. You know, it's just for me. I just um, you know I've had guys. Um, Kind of be like the elder statesman to me. Mm -hmm. I think one of those guys, and you know, I say it all day, all the time, is Grant Hill. Mm -hmm. um, really showed me, you know, uh, not so much telling me, but showing me what it was like uh, to really be a professional, to, to win and do winning things, and to uh, uh, and to be consistent during the year. And I think um, I, I could do that here, and I think I'm going to try to. And um, you know, I'm just I'm extremely excited. I think uh, I like being an underdog. I think mm -hmm. you know, being a Phoenix, uh, we never get any respect. And I think uh, for me to be here, I think it's it's a great opportunity. Um, you know, I don't listen to what anybody says about what we're going to be next year or, mm -hmm. you know, what our record might be because most of the time they don't know what they're talking about, <laughs> you know, and um, uh, I'm excited. You know, I, I talked to Aaron, you know, of course I said hello to most of the other guys and so on. Um, uh, you know, really, I, I am, uh, it's a challenge and I think I'm ready to step up. What did Tobias tell you about this team here? Uh, man, he said everyone's great guys and I knew that. You know, you could tell by playing, you know, you could tell a lot about playing and, um, you know, he also said, you know, he loves the city, he loves being here. Um, the coaching staff is great, and he says, you know, f we kind of need what you do, you know. He's like, uh, and I was like, well, I need you to do what you do for me to do what I do, you know. <laughs> just throw it to me once in a while, you know. That's it. Just <laughs> one, once out of every five times, throw me the ball. But, uh, you know, I think he really just kind of sold me on, on um, what they want to do in the future. Um, I think Rob sold me on what they want to do in the future, and, uh, you know, a lot. It means a lot to me um, that, that he wants me to be a part of this. You were part of that Phoenix team that a lot of people thought overachieved a little bit last right, year. You right. think this roster has a potential to do the same thing? Yeah, that's why I thought we underachieved last year. You know, I thought we had some big injuries that, that set us back, and um, I thought we had a lot of guys uh, that really stepped up to the plate. You know, once we um, really got going there, I think you look at guys who really never had an opportunity to play, came in and um, really gave us big minutes. And so for me, I, I think it's not I wasn't the main reason for that, but I feel like um, what I do is I'm going to create space for guys that like to get to the rack. You know, I think we have a lot of those guys. I think, you know, Old Depot, uh, you know, the, the rookie, um, uh, well, both rookies, and then we got the big fella, you know. And, and my, my rule is, you know, if you're getting double teamed, then I need to make more shots. And so I think last year that was kind of one of my things is, you know, I don't want guys to get double teamed, whether that's Goron, whether that was Eric. And so now I think I can, um, you know, hopefully bring that here. How many teams expressed interest in, in you? In free agency, and how quickly did the magic express interest? Um, you know, I would say between uh, ten to fourteen. You know, and, but I think um, it slimmed down pretty fast. I think um, I really started looking at um, different opportunities. You know, I didn't want to go to an older team. I think that was one of my things. I wanted to go to a team where they were going to uh, grow over the years. You know, not just do one of these one-year things. Um, uh, one-year blow it up kind of things. I think I looked at you know the personnel. I looked at the city. Um, you know, for my wife and family, and I think um, uh, a change of scenery was kind of neat. I think um, the Magic made themselves uh, pretty much at the top of my list early on. Um, I was in Italy when they called, and uh, they, they were the first people to call, and I, you know, that means a lot. You know, I think they, um, you know, you never heard their names in the news of like them going after this person or that person. I think they were like, hey, look, you know, you're one of four or five guys that we're going after, you know, we, we want what you have and we want you to be part of the program and this culture. And I think culture is huge for me. And I think um, if you have good culture and you have good guys, good things will happen. Last year, you had to sit out all year. Right, two years ago. Two, no, like, this yeah, time, two seasons ago. But you, you came back your third game. I think you had like 19. You made three or four threes. Did that let you know that you're back? Uh, I think I knew I was back when the doctor said I was back. Okay. And then after that, I was just kind of a little out of shape. So, uh -huh. um, you know, for me, I think um, uh, being able to go through training camp, not missing any time or any drills and going through the whole season, not missing any practices or games, um, I think that was attributed to not only myself, but, uh, you know, my family continuing to support me. Some games I was exhausted, you know, getting back used to it. But I think uh, this summer I've really um, appreciated not being injured or not having anything going on. and. Um, you know, I've been running around a lot, but I'm, I'm, I'm happy to uh, 
be somewhere that they can continue to run. They don't play too much slow down basketball, and that's kind of more my style. It's cliche, but people say they don't appreciate what they have until they lost it. Right, what, right. How tough was that year out of basketball for you? Um, I, I would be honest. It was one of the toughest but greatest years of my life. I think uh, for me, um, you know, I have two kids, and so for me to spend time with my wife and family, um, I'll never be able to do that until I retire. But to be able to do that, um, especially when my little girl was born, was huge. Um, I also appreciate basketball a lot more. The game's a little bit slower. You know, I was talking to all the guys on the team. Um, really just kind of, you know, when something's taken away from you, you know, you uh, just take a step back and, and you really appreciate it. It's not so much a job. This is a, a blessing and opportunity. And um, win, lose, or, or draw. Well, we don't draw us so that soccer. So <laughs> win or lose, uh, you know, I'm always going to have a smile on my face because, you know, at any moment, this could be taken away, and um, I'm going to appreciate every chance to get better and, and help this team. How did you stay in shape or get back in shape, rehabilitate, whatever you want to oh, two man. years ago? It was strenuous. It started at the bottom. I mean, mm -hmm. the bottom, bottom. Um, you know, I, I couldn't do any exercise or anything strenuous for about eight months, and then I had to start from, like, walking and stretching, you know? And I had a little heart monitor with a watch, and if my heart rate went above a certain level, I'd have to stop and wait. So the first day... Um, I think it took me an hour and a half to do like maybe 50, so I'm, I'm just giving you an example, like 50 lunges, you know? Mm -hmm. And then, so I had to work my way from that, and uh, that's why I just appreciate, um, just that's why I stayed in the gym almost every day last year, uh, making sure I take care of my body, making sure that I'm doing the little things. You know, sometimes when you're young, you know, you take stuff for granted, <laughs> and now I'm a little older. I mean, 30 that's not that old. Okay. Still, <laughs> still, still almost in my prime. Um, you know, I really, you know, uh, do things, you know, make sure you get massages, make sure you're eating right, make sure you're you know, taking your vitamins, make sure you get in the weight room, you know, make sure you're resting, ice, those things that you may take for granted, uh, you know, I definitely did not take for granted last year. What sort of monitoring do you kind of undergo now? I have none. I mean, other than I go get checked up like everyone else and uh, everything else is good. I'm 100% all good. I've been all good and uh, there's really nothing to, nothing to worry about. It's kind of a no issue other than like, you know, the me taking a year off thing. You're a former Wildcat. You played in Phoenix last year. You probably got to watch some of Aaron's games. Yeah, I watched all, most of them. Most you're of them. How excited are you to? Extremely kind of excited. I mean, his talent level is uh, off the roof. I think he kind of fits the mold here. Um, I kind of like guys that don't have a real position. You know, I like that he's, you know, just can go out there and play different positions. I think he's going to um, find his niche pretty quickly in this game. I think you know everyone focuses on the shooting, but you know, you don't always need. A lot of shooters on the floor. You know, you need you need basketball players. I think, um, you know, um, I, I don't know if this is the right kind of person to compare him to, but I, I think he's like kind of a like Kawhi Leonard type of guy. Like, you know, Kawhi Leonard really doesn't have a position. Does he guards ones? He guards threes? He guards fours? You know, he guards five sometimes. Sometimes when I played center, um, he would guard me, and I was like, Tim, why don't you? Yeah, yeah, come, come, come. yeah. You know, so I think Aaron, um, you know, again, his roof is extremely. Um, uh, high on this talent level, and I think uh, for this team that we just need guys that are going to play ball the right way. Um, he's a great kid, and I think he's just going to fit in. Before you, you know, sign with the Magic, uh, w what's perspective from an outsider's point of view of this franchise and the direction it's heading right now from uh, around the league? From around the league, I think they're just young. They're just really young. I think um, they're just missing a couple pieces, and I think um, certain guys fit into those pieces and certain guys don't. I was one of those guys that do, and I think. Um, you know, what happens when you have a young, talented team is that, you know, older guys are already established. It's kind of tough because you have guys like, you know, Vic is your one, and then you got Peyton as your two, and then you have, you know, Tobias Harris, who everyone loves, you know, and then um, you have Mo Harkless, who's also equally as talented, and then you have, you know, uh, Big Nick, and then you have, you know, the big fella, Nick, you know, down uh, the two Nicks. And so you look and you, you kind of say, okay, where am I going to fit in? Because you know those guys are going to grow and continue to get better if they're competing. Um, last year they were really good at competing. I just think they were just missing that little extra. And you know, hopefully, you know, between me and the two other vets that came in and the rookie, uh, we can get things going. You mentioned you five or six games last year where you made five threes. Right, and right. Twenty-five where you made at least three. I mean, your job is to keep the defense honest, right? Right, That's right, right. Is that the biggest role you bring to, to stretch the floor? Uh, I would say yeah. I think. Uh, yeah, I, I'm going to say yes, just because I mean, it's, it's too long of an answer. But um, yeah, it's pretty much my job is to, to make sure that nobody gets double teamed and that we have uh, the right floor spacing. With the guards that we have, uh, I'm very excited. You know, Vic is 
one of the tougher guards in the league, you know, one of the new up and coming guys. And um, I was watching Summer League, and I mean, I'll be honest, I didn't really know a lot about Peyton, but after watching, I'm like, oh, he's going to be nasty. So um, I'm excited. And I think you look at, at the progression, and I, I can only compare to people that I play with. You look at the progression of Goron, the beginning of the year that I played with him, him and I played off the bench a lot. You know, I was a sixth man, and so he really wasn't shooting the three like that, but he was getting to the rack at will. And then all of a sudden, people started playing underneath him. He started working on that. He started getting confidence. Okay, these are my shots. And so I think that's what I could do is I'm just going to try and simplify the game uh, for everyone else. Hey, look, somebody get in the corner. Somebody get to my right. Big fella, go screen and roll. <laughs> and you only got a choice from there. You're going to let me shoot or you're going to let these other guys shoot. You're going to give Big fella a, you know, a layup. And I think it's simple. Basketball is a simple game. And um, I'm not here to simplify it.